Ever it's, ask it's gonna get locked in. There we go. All right. So most standard indeed. Corky does come through for pawn. So no shenanigans from the side of KT. Hongdu as well. Scaling wise. Maybe score is gonna. Oh, oh, that's wow. a lot Look of damage. how much damage coming through score. He's hungry for the kill and he's well. gonna find it. Good lord. Didn't see that one coming. Uses the flash rifle force. Still does quite a bit of damage. Ash, Ash arrow coming this through. This hits. That, it will. That will connect. But there we go. <laughs> Couldn't see, Fog of War, wasn't sure what score, score was doing, but there we go, jumps in, gets the kill. Fourth anniversary, baby. Competitive, but any more advantages stack over to KT and double Mountain Drake and some map control around Baron, and this game's over. Oh, Pawn coming over the wall, looking for Ed. Shockwave comes through, but does not matter. He has already disappeared. Pawn's gonna try to jump in, takes a lot of damage, heals it back with the W. Back, they see Soul, but meanwhile, Mana getting caught out in the jungle. Tidal Wave comes through, will pop up score. Punch jumping forward, trying to kill the Karma. Hits the Bola shot, but he's still rather healthy. Pawn goes forward, takes out Gugur. Curtain call, desperately looking for Pawn to try to take him out, won't be able to do so. Smeb goes in, gets a twisted advance down onto Punch. Doesn't have enough W stacks to cleanse that one up, but gets the shield out from Orianna to keep him alive. It's dangerous. Speaking of unicorns and ending things, that last night. Oh, I'll hold that thought though, because Gugur, he just disappears. Pawn goes in with a package. And that's a fourth kill picked up for score. Four. And he is already down below half HP. You are uh, not fast enough, Rengar. It's dead. Sorry. <laughs> nope. Goodbye. Punch it just around. Drakes, but no other objective. That's why people were unclear on the definition of perfect game. Oh. Nash arrow out onto edge. Look at the damage he's taking. Gets locked up, and score goes forward. Finds the kill. Let's just make it five. And zero for now. Bubble not going to connect on anybody. Still decent amount of Baron empowered minions here in the front line. And Pawn is just shredding that turret. Red line goes forward. Won't find a target. Roach down to half HP. Has to go ahead and peel back. He's certainly playing like one. Does get rid of the package. Now he gets rooted by the Deadly Flourish. Tries to make it over the wall, but gets grabbed right back in. There we go. One kill on the board for Kongdu. Is it enough to dissuade KT? However, Mod is down to half HP. Gets locked up by the Bola. Tidal Wave comes through, only pops up Smeb, who is still tanky in the front. In the base of Kongdu Monster. Oh, dredge line on Nabata. Gets rooted down, bubble will fall short. Ash Arrow comes out, finds Soul. Limited follow up, however, and the Tidal Wave won't really connect. Turn call coming through, punch jumping forward, trying to get rid of score. Mata goes low, He's the dead. shield comes out, but it doesn't matter. Shockwave is able to take him out. Smeb diving in underneath the turret, 1v5. Will get locked up, will go down, a double kill going over to Edge. They are able to get punched in the end as Pawn finishes them off. But KT, all they really have to do is occupy Kongdu Monster because the Super Creeps yet again are knocking down the next. 35 20. So let's see how fast it dies. It's going to die faster than Rengar can get Five there. seconds. Absolutely. Just five seconds. And now Smep, he finds Punch, locks him down. Get top, go back to that. If you're, if you're camping it as it spawns, because Corky and uh, Ash got their first, I believe, doing damage. So not all five members are doing damage instantly. But again, that's fair. Turret barely recovering from the last time KT was here. No one can walk up, though. Red line connects on the score, still very healthy. <laughs> Roach just getting destroyed. Ash Arrow connects, and he goes down. Pawn finds the kill. Redemption only going to heal up Punch. And Smeb is still hot on his heels, goes back in with a twisted advance, just chunking him down steadily. Arcane Smash plus Rocket onto Cougar almost kills him, and that's just going to be it right here. Last Nexus turret falls. 38 and a half minutes, a lot dirtier than you would expect from KT against Kongdu Monster, but they take him out in game one. But it's only dirty because you expected them to come in completely pristine, and they weren't. They had a couple of specks of dirt. They unfortunately couldn't afford, uh, avoid the patch of mud on the way to their destination, but their destination was always assured. That would be a game one victory, which looked on the cards even before the first kill of the game had come down. So. On the whole, good stuff from KT, especially given what we witnessed from them on the Rift the first day of this match week.